This is problem number 82. It's from the 2012 AP Calc AB exam. This is a calculator question. This is a problem where you can really, really, really take advantage of the calculator. Uh, I would say one of the, the most efficient ways to use your calculator on the second section of an AP calculus exam is to use it to graph derivatives. We have a derivative given to us here, and I'm going to talk about the graph of that derivative in 30 seconds. We are asked to determine where f has a local maximum, the x value where f has a local maximum. So hopefully you think, well, I need to know critical numbers, so I'm going to set this derivative equal to zero. I'm then going to build a sign chart, and I'm going to look for a place where, for a local maximum, I would have to go from increasing to the left to decreasing to the right. That's not wrong. That's going to take some time. I'm going to answer this question with a graph. So I graphed f prime of x. I just have my standard viewing window. Ti 83 is what you're looking at right here. I graphed this derivative. I had to keep in mind that this is a graph of a derivative. So what happens at a local maximum with the derivative? Well, the derivative is positive whenever the function has positive slopes, but then the derivative turns to negative on the other side of the maximum. So at a local maximum, f prime is going to change from positive to negative. So I'm looking at this graph, keeping in mind that it is a graph of f prime. f prime is negative down here, right? I'm looking at negative y values, positive up here, positive y values. I do have a few more negative y values right here. And then I'm back to positive y values on the other side. So where does my sign change the right direction, positive to negative? Well, it looks like there's a negative positive. This would be a local minimum. Here's another negative positive. So this would be a local minimum. But right here, I can do that in a different color to make it stand out a little bit, do it a little bit bigger. Right here, where I cross through the x-axis and my derivative sign changes from positive to negative, that's a place where I have a local maximum. So how am I going to determine that result? I don't need justification for a multiple choice question like this. This is much easier to handle than a free response question. A free response question that requires justification, you have to you know, be really, really delicate with how you handle that and, and provide the adequate justification. In this case, we just need to know where the X value is that we have a local maximum. We've identified it graphically. Now let's go into the calculate menu. You see my calculator has the zero being displayed down here and I did hit you know, left bound over here, right bound down here, gave it a guess right about there, and I got the x value of 0.35 back in the end.